abundance of river systems and fertile plains in Asia. What do you expect the main occupation to be? Well, if you haven't guessed it already, it's agriculture. Yes, most of the river basins formed in Asia by the river systems are conducive to growing crops because the soil is fertile and there is a good supply of water as well. Agricultural products account for the main chunk of exports from Asia. There are different farming techniques followed by the countries across Asia. One of the prominent farming techniques in this part of the world is irrigation farming. Water from canals or bore wells is used for cultivation and the farmers are less dependent on the monsoon rains. Dry farming is practiced in areas where rainfall is less and irrigation facilities are not available. Plantation farming is a type of farming in which a single type of crop is grown in a very large area. On the other hand, mixed farming is done when the farmer doesn't rely solely on agriculture as a source of income. He also rears livestock like cows, goats or sheep to earn additional income. Shifting farming is another type of farming. It is practiced by tribal populations who keep shifting from one piece of land once in two years. They do this to ensure that the land regains its fertility. People who practice shifting cultivation depend on rains. They do not use modern inputs like fertilizers and pesticides. In the past, people used hand tools and animals for cultivation. But in recent times, we can see farmers shifting to modern implements like harvesters and tractors. Genetically modified seeds, fertilizers and pesticides are used extensively to ensure better yields. The main crops grown in Asia are wheat and rice. Asia accounts for 90% of the rice produced in the world. Conditions for growing rice are perfect in Asia during the monsoon season. Fertile lands and sufficient rainfall aid the growth of rice. Abundant labor resources in the continent make rice cultivation a cheap and viable agricultural practice. The principal producers of rice are China and India. Japan, Thailand, Bangladesh and South Asian countries are other producers of rice. Actually, do you know something? Thailand is known as the rice bowl of Southeast Asia. Rice terraces are a common sighting in Asia. The most prominent of the lot are the Banawe terraces. These were built in the Philippines about 2000 years ago by the Ifugao people. These terraces are present 1524 meters above sea level. Another major crop is wheat. It is generally grown in the temperate regions of Asia. The major producers of wheat are China, India, Pakistan and Asian Russia, which is nothing but the eastern parts of Russia. The other crops grown are natural rubber, tea, cotton, jute and sugarcane. The main producers of rubber are Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand. China, Indonesia, India, Malaysia and Thailand are the prime tea producing countries. Leading cotton producers include China, India, Pakistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. Jute mainly comes from Bangladesh, China and India. The major sugarcane producing countries are Indonesia, Philippines, Bangladesh and India, with India being the second largest producer of sugarcane in the world. Date cultivation is also prominent in Asia, mostly in Western countries. 
Iran is the largest producer of dates in the world. A variety of pulses, spices, oil seeds, millets, cocoa and coffee are also grown in Asia. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.